It, how do we do it? Do we like how ask them to stay because I'll, I'll probably be the, the you last people. Now. You got 24 hours, please. No, no, no I was about to ask, do we do like we start together, finish together? Can <laughs> I'll be. <laughs> 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 yeah, guys, stay safe. If you don't hit the thousand today, it doesn't matter. Just give it your best and see what you can do. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, good luck, good luck, good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Strength and honor. Come back, take it aside. The truth is, I just come back from holidays. I was uh, almost three weeks in Thailand and I haven't trained at all. At all. <laughs> so maybe that's part of the training. Uh, so I rest a lot. I heal my body. I had a lot of fun, good time, relaxing time. I have sunshine within, so hopefully that will help because, uh, yeah, more than the physical challenge, it's going to be mental and uh, the mind will play a big, big part. So I guess the plan was to be rested, completely relaxed and come to the event, yeah, relax and we'll see, <laughs> we'll see if it works out. Every athlete in every sport, they have their, their big title fight or their big race or the Olympics or something like that. So they've always got something to aim for and to train for, uh, that big game, I guess. Uh, and because there's no competition in parkour, there's never really that challenge to train for or that thing to, to reach. Um, so I think it's, it's nice sometimes to have that challenge in mind, to have a physical challenge or a technical one in mind and something to train for, uh, kind of a purpose, I guess. And it's also a way to test yourself to see if your training has been effective, uh, to see if your training has uh, if you've progressed in your training. So. Uh, the idea of challenge, the nature of challenge, um, is that you have to improve yourself to, to complete something. So. 975. But I started with 1001. <laughs> so, but I prefer not to look at it too much. Just, especially now, it's too early to look at it. So it was a cold day in December, and we had eight guys in a warehouse in the cold, and no heating. And we'd all kind of planned our different approaches, some people had been trained specifically for it, some people had been taking more rest in between, and uh, doing shorter sessions of muscle ups. The approach, everyone's approach was quite different. Just, be, just between us, it is really fucked up. I want to punch Blaine in the face just for that. And him to say yes. This. We were talking about it in Brazil, me and Blaine. We, he, he said he was going to do it, so I said, mm, okay, I'll do it too. We looked at Steph, so Steph's going to do it. No pressure, you know, you don't have to do it. Go home if you want to, relax, chill out. Croissant. And uh, he said, uh, he, he said, uh, he said, no, I'm going to do it too, okay? And then we looked over at Bruno and said, Bruno, do you want to do it? He didn't even know what we're talking about, and he said yes. So, not it, that was stupid. Why? Why did they say yes? 272, 19 minutes to go, so confident-ish. At least for phase one. First two or three hours were okay. Um, we had a few guys complete the 300 challenge within the 1,000 challenge as well, so they finished within two and a half hours, uh, the first 300. But as the hours passed, um, we realized that, okay, it's gonna be a lot harder than we thought, because you start approaching kind of the 300s, the 400s, the 500s, and then that, that feeling starts to set in that you're only halfway. Two, five, two. Ah, you know, takes as long as it takes, so. <laughs> Keen is in the zone! He's in the zone! I can't get that far. I'm going to try and do 100. Uh, I haven't trained for this at all, really. I've done two batches where I did about 20 and then 30, both in less than half an hour. So whilst I may have the strength to do it, I haven't really prepared my tendons for it, so I don't really want to give myself tendonitis. For the sake of uh, just joining in and being here to lend moral support and take some photographs and stuff, so my contribution's not very important, but I'll see what I can do. I've done six, 58, now when I get to 60, I'm gonna have some food. Yeah, But equally, I think, uh, investing the three weeks before the challenge, it yeah. wasn't the best. I don't think it worked out. It worked out. It's just not his day either, I think. It's happened sometimes. No. 
I was dreading that, just like turning up on the day and something just being like, oh god, he's gonna make it a long day or something. Yeah. We take some breaks, we have a cup of tea, we have a little support team helping us out, bringing us food and water and stuff, which is great. Without those people, we would probably have had a, a much harder time. Uh, but yeah, because we're in a cold warehouse, every time you stopped, the, the cold would just eat into your bones and you'd have trouble warming up again. So staying warm, staying loose, that was the really hard part. Oh my god, that's the best cup of tea I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> tea! I think I like being here for the next hour. It's when like hour five, six, seven kicks in that I'm going to be in a... What's the word? Hell, I think is the... Uh... <laughs> It's getting very hard. Basically, my, the form of the muscle up is gone. Like, I can't remember how to do a muscle up. So it's just really like, really hard. But hopefully it'll just be a phase and it'll come back. Bum, bum, bum. But yeah, I've never, I've never, I've never not been able to do one very clean muscle up. You know? So it's bizarre, bizarre feeling. What is that because you're tired or you're in pain? No, it's not pain, no. I guess it's um I guess it's just yeah tight, but yeah, it's pain in the ass. <laughs> I'll probably come back. So. Or if it doesn't, I'll just be here all day doing them very slowly. So yeah. One of the two. Me the pain, I don't know what's going on. Well, it seems like it's painful already, so it's better to try to be relaxed, have fun. All the friends are here, the team is here. Ah, I think it's better to have fun. Bad idea. Well, c'est la vie. As you can see, nothing works anymore. I've gone down to one a minute from about 550. Just need something to keep the energy in the in the arms and the shoulders. I think now. Um, Everybody is starting the, to get like little upspurts and of energy and you know little bits of uh, you know feeling a bit down and you can see like the emotion a little bit now. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, yeah, this what happens when you do something stupid like this. <laughs> so yeah, it's good fun. It's good fun. So um, you know we're all just gonna see how we do, how we fare, whether we do a thousand. Uh, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> uh, so a lot of the challenges that we do um, are not necessarily healthy for the body in a lot of ways. Um, but it's, it's like any any big event in an athlete's life, I guess. That the training itself is what makes you stronger and better and fitter. Uh, but the event itself is, is often very traumatic for the athlete. So if you think of a, uh, a world title fight for a boxer, um, the, the, the best way for him to come, become a better fighter isn't necessarily to get in the ring with someone and get punched in the face. So that's going to be quite traumatic for him and he's going to take a long time to recover from that. But the process is worth it for that person. And it's the same for, same for a challenge in parkour. You might not necessarily uh, become stronger from it, or more powerful from it. In a lot of ways it's going to break your body down uh, and take some time to recover from that. Um, but that's the whole, that's the whole um, nature of the challenge. That it will break you down and can you come back from that stronger? Can you bounce back? Uh, the pain is there mostly on the pushing part. It's, it's the elbow is just very warm and very tight. So if it gets really bad, I'll stop, but I think it'll be fine. As long as I keep putting this on, take mini breaks, everything's fine. Yeah, about, uh, I've got about 300 left. There were more than 300, so. Yeah, it's not. My arm is dead. My left arm, my bicep, I can't use it. Um, so I'm hitting 798. So I have two left for the uh, 800. And then I'm calling it a um, thousand. There's no way I'm going to carry on for another 200, which is a shame. And everything's a little bit emotional at the moment. Uh, but. 
hey, I'm just trying to think about the shower and my bed tonight, uh, which I'm glad I'm going to be able to go home to. Yes, come on, come on. Come on, Andy, push. Yes. Right, so I'm it's been a good day. Uh, hey. You can only do what you can do, so yeah. <laughs> and it was it was hellish. It was it was the worst thing I've ever done in terms of uh, how difficult it was, how, how long it was. It kind of drives you a little bit crazy after a while, just being in the one room uh, in the cold, uh, working really hard. But we were really inspired by the people around us. Uh, every time someone finished, there'd be a, a huge kind of celebration, a uh, big cheer. We'd take a minute, kind of congratulate the guy, make sure he was okay, and then we'd go back to helping and supporting people who hadn't finished yet. Uh, and yeah, eight of us started it, and only four of us finished it. Uh, but even the people who didn't quite make it all the way, they still they still did an unbelievable job. They, they pushed themselves much further than they thought they would. Uh, so people didn't expect to finish it, and actually ended up doing 300, 400 reps more than they actually they, they planned. So there was no kind of divide between people that finished it and didn't finish it. It was kind of everyone pushed their hardest, and did the best they could that day, and it was fantastic. It was amazing. It's the the feeling in the group, the kind of brotherhood that we had there, and. It was great. We had various people coming in throughout the night to give us support. And in the end, we went to bed that night, actually just slept in the warehouse, freezing cold, um, and we left the next morning. So, great experience. I'll never do it again. And that's not because uh, I regret it. I think it was an amazing thing to do. Um, but there's no, I, I don't see any point in doing that one again. The Thousand Muscle Up Challenge was done. Um, there'll be more challenges in the future that will be different. But for that one, that one's been ticked off. I know I can do it. And that's the biggest thing about challenge for me is if I'm not sure I can do it, that, that interests me. That's the sort of thing I want to go in and, and have a look at. I want to find challenges that I have to, I have to change to be able to compete it. So I have to dig deep in myself, find something that I haven't done before, uh, change my training, shape it towards that, face a challenge, try and complete it. And then, and then start again, heal from that process, find, find something else that interests me in a new direction usually. It's a new day. It's day three. It's day three. It's still day two. I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh...